Hey my friends, welcome to Joey's Tech. In this video, I will show you how to install the Tkintel library in Python on Mac. Before we begin the installation, I am going to show you in which version of Python I will be installing the Tkintel library. To check the version of Python, the command is python3 hyphen hyphen version. Good, you can see. I have Python 3.13.5 installed on my Mac. And this is one of the latest versions of Python available at the time of recording this video. If you want to install this version on your Mac, then do watch the video in the i button. Alright, let's begin the installation. So first thing first, I'm going to create a Python project folder on my desktop. So I'm going to go inside my desktop using the cd command. And over here using the mkdir command, I'm going to create this Python project folder which I'm going to name as tkinter underscore install. I hit enter and you can see tkinter underscore install folder has been created on my desktop. You can create this folder wherever you want. Now I'm going to go inside this folder tkinter underscore install using the cd command. All right, over here, we are going to create a virtual environment. A why virtual environment? Because installing Python modules in a virtual environment keeps your project dependencies isolated so they don't mess with other projects or system packages. And the command to create a Python virtual environment is very simple. It is python3 hyphen m vnv and the name of the virtual environment, which in this case, I'll provide as tkinter underscore vnv. I hit enter and if this command doesn't throw any error, that means virtual environment is successfully created. It hasn't thrown any error, but we are going to check whether it has been created or not using the ls-l command. There you go. You can see tkinter underscore vnv created. Now we are going to activate this virtual environment using the command source the name of the virtual environment which is tkinter underscore pnv forward slash pin forward slash activate. I hit enter and you can see tkinter underscore pnv virtual environment is now active. Alright, we'll install the tkinter library now. The command is not going to be pip install tkinter. However, it is going to be pip install tk. We hit enter. And there you go, it got installed in a flash. It says successfully installed TK, but we are going to check its successful installation now. So I am going to type Python 3, hit enter. That is going to take me in a Python prompt. Over here, we are going to write this statement to import tkinter as TK. Now, if the execution of this statement is successful, that means we have successfully installed a tkinter. Let's hit enter. There you go. It's successful. Let's write one more line of code to further test the installation of tkinter. It is tkinter dot underscore test and brackets after it. Let's hit enter and see what appears. Oh, I made a mistake. It has to be tk dot underscore test because I imported tkinter as tk. That's why. Let's hit enter. Oh, there you go. The underscore test function has launched a very simple GUI demo window to verify that tkinter is installed and working correctly on my Mac. One final thing that we are going to do after exiting from the Python prompt is to deactivate the virtual environment. The command to deactivate a virtual environment is simply deactivate. And there you go. And with this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed learning how to install the tkinter library in Python on Mac from this video of Joey's Tech. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye and take very good care of yourself.